Greetings everyone, here's Lodrick and this is the game War in the Pacific at Mercy Edition. This is my play by email match against Kilroy. This is scenario 1 with no modifications and uh, we arrive at the 16th February 1942. Um, not sure if you will see here too much action today. Um, the biggest important battles in Java are already over. Mm. And in China, no. Let's see. Maybe there is something surprisingly. So uh, maybe some air war over Wangun. That could be. Allied ship sunk somewhere on the map. Hard to guess where and what. So I also pick up now here already all the dot bases behind or west of Rangoon. Uh, or Boon. Simply uh, to make sure that there's no sub tender, AV tender, something like this looking. And maybe give Kilroy always opportunity to fly in some Catalinas or operate submarines behind my lines. And also, what else? The most important bases I took already. Now, next target is more or less Fiji. Source of Pearl Harbor. This sub unable to attack the uh, AKV that could have a nice uh, cargo my battleships finding here some small cargo ships in mole mine maybe already finished unloading and nothing else now it's up to the Air Force to achieve some victory. So I think this is me sweeping, yeah. So I sweep with my Oscars from Bangkok mole mine. At the same time, I have the battleships with some local uh, peat float plane fighters for escort. Normally, oh, mostly only to, I think, uh, cover against enemy torpedo bombers. Yeah, I control the skies, but I lost here one or two, at least, Oscars. May even, even kill ratio. Uh, my Navy bombers going for these Dutch ships in the port. Luckily, the enemy ti flying tiger cannot intercept. Starboard. And very likely a kill. Good. That is now for sure a kill. And the next cargo ship getting heavily damaged. ships go down immediately two more heavily damaged and will normally sink or out of action and two are escaping this torpedo one but now the 
Lilies are coming. The one flying tiger trying to intercept and is able to kill one. And here you can see that the, uh, the second lily go down. And the third gets damaged and then it's over. So the lily is normally more or less a high speed uh, bomber for the Japanese. Compared to the Ki-21 carry less bomb load but it's faster. But it, this kind of medium bombers are never fast enough to outrun enemy fighters. At least not the modern. So I give this kind of pilots already some navy attacker skills because I think this is the, maybe the best secondary skill after land bombardment. And even if a 100 kilo bomb is not too much for cargo ships or for everything what is not with the armor deck, I think it can do damage. Already. 100 kilo is something. And you can see that these pilots have already some kind of training that they can uh, radio more and more damage. And the next hit. And they come here in 10,000 feet. So it is high altitude attack, not low level. Or well, maybe you can call it medium altitude attack. High will would be maybe over twenty thousand. Yeah. Now I strike and focus on this British division. And there is, looks like no enemy flag more, so maybe this division is now out of supply. So even if they have the guns, they cannot use them more to shoot on my bombers. And this means I can now slowly, simply oh, get rid of them, get them all disabled and then maybe wipe them off. Them. Maybe the cargo ships and more mine going down. And uh, the Betty's are out of Batavia, I think. I think I will come now out of Batavia. I have the air HQ so I can use torpedoes. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe I use uh, the Southern Headquarter. Southern Army Headquarter. That will automatically also support uh, torpedoes if there is enough supplies. So this uh, cargo ship will go down. Four hits is enough. So Nell's coming back, but there are now two flying tigers still. And uh, very strange that uh, my Nell's are able to hit an enemy flying tiger. But it doesn't matter because it's only like machine guns. They will never create enough damage. But luckily this flying tiger have some mechanical issues. More performance issues. And looks like this one is on bomb, but not of torpedo strike, or I'm running out of torpedoes and forgot to rearm them. And these navy bombers are maybe not so well trained for bombardment strike. Simply because 
Why you won't use navy bombers like Nels or Betty's for bomb strike if you can use torpedoes? Torpedoes are normally always better. Naja. Miss. Now with escort. A little late this escort, but right. So the first flying tiger immediately gets damaged to the second return. Afternoon, maybe weather change or whatever. No hit can happen. Now it's Kilroy attacking me with unescorted bombers, and battleships have also some heavy flak. It looks like the Hudson's coming very low. Compared to the Japanese, they can't really take much more damage. And of course, yeah, Oscar's only heavy machine guns on only two. The output of damage is simply a little small to easily kill enemy bombers. But with enough time, it's even able for. I mean, it's even Oscars can get rid of this kind of medium bombers. But for flying tigers and heavy bombers, it's maybe a other story. I'm not so sure if it's really possible. If you don't have luck, point of sight. Good. So only two are able to penetrate the air defense, and they're attacking the battleships. So it ask me. I think they still completely lost their uh, order. They're coming very low in 1,000 feet, uh, but the 250 pound bomb will do never anything. This is a 100 kilogram bomb or 110 kilo. More Hudsons, less Oscars, now with escort. All six comes through. If you attack so low, even Japanese flag is good. Japanese flag is really only shitty in long range, but this short range flag, this low level attack, maybe not at the beginning of the war, but I think in the end of the war, the Japanese also have good flag for this. Uh, but we will see, maybe. Now Blenheims. And again, no hit.
more sinking. And now my ships can start the bombardment of more mine. There are some, I think, uh, enemy yeah. airplanes on the ground, and I can kill some and destroy, or de no, disable more and destroy uh, some, plus uh, the base forces. Heavily damaged, I would say. Good. Second land attack. Yesterday was uh, nearly a victory. Uh, today the same. But the losses on my side are now very small compared to the Chinese. They are nearly completely destroyed. So one more day. Then it's over. This unit also catching up. They are retreating. Light losses on my side. Nearly all killed on the Chinese. A test bombardment because I still don't uh, catch this uh, last Dutch base and everyone takes first the base before I take here completely because I don't want that they escape again. So my bombardment is mm, something. I attack, take the base, the base for surrender. Next turn, I can attack this uh, East Dutch forces. But uh, in the West side, I already was able to catch up with this reminding uh, Dutch forces, and now they surrender. So, West Java is now official in the status of peace, justice, and order. And all of these Dutch forces are wiped out. Still I have again here 70 and more nearly 100 uh, disabled units on my side but only disabled not destroyed so maybe one week I can recover them. And also this uh, blocking force circle or just behind to cover the retreat of the British forces is now officially destroyed. And finally, the Australian units are off the map. So very successful land war or outcome for me. And the uh, next turn I can maybe finish the operation in Java completely. Also my battleships uh, was able to destroy and uh, yeah, take out more mine out of the active role. Here you can see that the airfield damage is very high, port damage, and uh, most of these airplanes lay maybe on the ground are disabled or damaged, something like this. Uh, this will also maybe interrupt the supply flow because this base is now completely destroyed and uh, Kilroy need first fix this. Um, at the same time, Kilroy also was able to, I think, walk here down because it's not a shock attack. So Kilroy is now with a unit here and maybe kick out my Thai forces. Uh, but I really don't care. This Thai force is completely disabled from air attacks. So not more much attack value left. But he can do this. My battleships are ready to finish this. No hit on them. But they burn through their ammunition more or less. And I also consume most of my heavy flak. So you, I think it's time better to retreat. I don't want her uh, risk here simply f f for no reason more. And even if these battleships are slow and have not much value more in this kind of war, at least for this kind of support bombardments, they are always uh, nice to have. Killing here the Dutch forces, okay. Taking here the western part of Java, it's finally done. Here one small base is here left with some fighters, but no bombers nearly. And here is now next turn the end of the Dutch resistance. Uh, Rabul, I also 
No enemy forces more a new Britannian. Britain. Uh, Coral Sea looks quiet. No activity here in the source. No activity around Ch uh, Fiji. Central Pacific also, my picking boats don't well, detect anything. There's still something in wake, but my submarine don't attack. Uh, it looks quiet. And in China, I was able to kick this Chinese units northwest. This hex will maybe open next turn. Uh, no other activity here. I'm slowly coming with my forces back to Xi'an, rested some days, and then I can attack uh, Lenshao direction. And uh, overall, air war was 31 to 10, so kill ratio of 3 to 1. 16 Hudson, so mainly bombers. 7 Flying Tigers. L18s is a Dutch. Airframes, I don't really know. This was a successful interception of my Key 48. This was this one Flying Tiger, kill two of them directly, and three have ops losses. And uh, the kill ratio of Flying Tigers to Oscar are now here, 7 to 3. And uh, yeah, this has this destroyed on the ground. Ah, I killed three, five airplanes on the ground. Good. So, and killed pilot. No, killed pilot. Four missing pilots, so I two kills and one wounded, so in total seven. Uh, seven out of ten is, of course, a high loss ratio, but this was all over enemy territory. So it's more or less a price I have to pay. Ship sunk. I think there was some cargo ships going down. Yeah, all British ships. Small, big, medium size. Nothing super important. And also no troops on board. Good. Thank you all. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.